Titan TV. I'm Monica Hayes. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, and I'm Jordan Goddard, and now for today's announcements. This past Saturday, the UHS Science Olympiad team competed in their district tournament at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. They faced 19 other high school teams and placed first in forensics and Wi-Fi lab and second in detector building. Good job. Seniors, if you are a high-achieving student who has been involved in community service throughout high school, you should apply for the Medallions of Excellence Award sponsored by the Daytona Beach News Journal. This application is available online at the Medallion of Excellence application link. The link can be found at uhstitans.com, and the deadline to submit your application is 12 p.m. on March 15th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Maracino in the guidance office. And other scholarship news, you have a new newsletter that has new opportunities to apply for thousands of dollars for scholarship money. The newsletter has been emailed to all of your teachers, is on our website, and is available in the guidance office. If you have not purchased your cap and gown yet, the deadline is approaching. Make sure to get your order in by March 31st. Herf Jones will be distributing them in April. More information will be supplied when available. Students who are interested in setting up for the ASVAB to join your military career, please sign up through the QR code located in the guidance department or through our website, uhstitans.com. The deadline to register is March 17th, and the test is on March 22nd at 9 a.m. in the Media Center. For more information, please stop by the guidance department. Prom tickets are on sale with an early bird price of $75. Tickets are sold strictly online at UHSTitans.com and is per alpha code. If you are bringing a guest who is an underclassman or does not attend UHS, please see Mrs. Dean in the activities office. Spring Spirit Week is still flowering up and our theme is Mardi Gras. Today is Princess and the Frog Day, dressed up as a character from the movie. Friday is Mardi Gras Class Color Day. Seniors will wear black, juniors will wear purple, sophomores will wear green, and freshmen will wear gold slash yellow. Dress up each day to receive beads. You may enter a contest for best dress and receive an entry into a drawing for a free wristband to the March 4th event. During spring week, there will be lunch activities each day outside 1A100. Today is the treasure hunt, and Friday you can pick up a wristband and enjoy some jazz music. 2022 Grad Bash will be on April 29th. Tickets are already on sale up until March 10th. The tickets are $115 for admission and charter bus fees. Stop by the activities office to purchase your tickets or see Mrs. Dean for any questions. Please note the VCS dress code is required. Spring sports are firing up here at UHS. Don't worry if you can't make it out to the big game, Titan TV has you covered with a new daily report with Jacob Reedy. Thank you, Annika and Jordan. I'm Jacob Reedy reporting for Titan Sports. The softball team lost 1-0 after 12 hard-fought innings against rival Lake Brantley. The girls will play Lake Mary as underdogs this Friday here at UHS. Make sure you get your tickets, and if you cannot, you can tune into the broadcast presented by Titan TV and commentated by me. The baseball team will travel to Apopka tomorrow in ho hopes of keeping their win streak alive. The Blue Darters are a terrifying 5-0 on the season, and the boys will look to take down this giant and secure a winning record. The boys' tennis team will face off against Mainland today at home. Good luck and beat those Bucks. The university's girl and boy track teams both took first place at the Deltona Dash last night, with the boys accumulating 158 points and beating the Bulldogs out by only one and the girls accumulating 181 points, having their nearest opponent behind by 50. That is all the sports for today. Thank you for tuning in. Back to you, Annika and Jordan. <laughs> and now over to Dom with Titan weather. <laughs> Yeah, it is a great start to the day. We were dealing with some visibility issues just a few hours prior. Here's a live look over uh, Ponce Inlet. You can see we're still dealing with the haze and the fog. Visibility down to six miles along the I-95 corridor. Across the rest of the interior, though, we are starting to clear things up just a bit. Temperatures right now, 62 in Orlando, 61 in Kissimmee. We're in the upper 50s and uh, lower 60s this morning. By the afternoon, we do warm up to the 80s. So it is going to be a very pleasant day. A little bit warm out there, though, for this time of year. Under a mix of sun and clouds, so things look great if you're headed out, maybe doing some of those afternoon activities. By today, daytime high temperatures running in the low to mid 80s. Warmer, plenty of sunshine. And future casts will keep us under just a few clouds through the afternoon. Rain chances today running about 0 to 10 percent, very isolated in coverage. As we look towards the rest of the week, we're going to be watching high pressure, sticking with us, keeping things very nice. And into next week, temperatures are going to be running well above average. We'll be flirting with 90 degrees. So you see in the seven day forecast, daytime high temperatures in the upper 80s, right around 90 and staying nice and dry. Annika and Jordan.